Hello YouTube and welcome to an episode of Disappointed Dragon. I haven't done one in a really long, long time. But for Christmas in my stocking this year, I got some Imagine X Batman, which is one of the first things I've ever opened on this channel. It was actually kind of a fun callback, so I figured, you know what, I'll film opening these as well, just because, you know, it's fun. I like them. And hopefully this time we don't get two Bruce Waynes. Because I, I, I tried to find them so I could bring them back out again, but... Uh, in the last opening, I opened two of these, and both of them were Bruce Wayne, which was kind of ridiculous. So I figured, hey, why not? We'll open these ones. We'll see what we get. Should be a fun time. It's been a really long time since I've done them. Also, my sister, knowing my level blind bags, got me one of these uh, Super Mario Lego ones, which I've opened in the past, actually, just not on video. I opened one uh, for myself a little while ago, and I got this guy here, the blooper, which was... Actually, it's not a blooper. Blooper's a squid. I'm not actually sure what the fish are called. Hmm... Which is one of the only two I don't want. I really don't like the fish, and I don't like this other... I think it's actually a fish as well. Just a more spiky one. Anything else would be cool, but I really don't want another fish. So we'll open this too. This is all of my uh, Christmas swag. Actually, uh, blind bag-wise, uh, Christmas 2020 was a little bit disappointing, but you know what? It worked out all right. Family really uh, came together separately, and we all had a great time delivering christmas dinner and just dropping off presents you know staying safe but still trying to have a good time and it turned out all right she also got me this um technic box i'm keeping in the background here it's a lego helicopter which i'll try to build later all right let's give this an open uh so looking at the front again i am okay with getting any of these characters except i really don't want another bruce wayne all the other ones look pretty cool uh oh there's a chance i'm going to sneeze oh dear Oh, excuse me. Ugh, sneeze. Snuck up on me there. All right, let's get this going. Let's see if I can open this with my, my fingers. Oh, no. Need obscene strength to open this with a knife. Ah, there we go. We persevere. We've got our little booklet here. Imaginex.com. I'm actually really surprised that she found these, because I'm pretty sure, like... I opened those other blind bags way back. It was probably two or three years ago. So I'm really surprised that they're still selling them. But here is the whole range. And it looks like they've all got the same rarity. There is no advanced rarities in here. Hmm, unfortunate. All right, well, let's see what we got. Oh, judging by this weapon, we got Batman. Yep, there he is. And all his Imaginex glory with his hands completely backwards. <laughs> Let's just fix that up. All right. So this Batman looks to be based off of one of the more recent Batman designs in the DC comics. Uh, where he's got the purple gloves and you can kind of see the textured Kevlar suit. It's actually quite a nice figure. The Imaginex figures are really nice. Uh, they're really well sculpted. They're really well put together. I mean, the cape's a little bit... Um, tiny but otherwise they're really nice they don't have a lot of articulation i mean you know the head moves back and forth though it is really stiff arms go up and down wrist swivel but the legs aren't uh independently articulated they uh always go together so you can only sit or kind of you know i guess hop that's about all you can do comes with this weird ugh, into his hands gripper thing i have no idea what it's supposed to be it's some kind of gadget knowing batman but i mean it's a nice figure uh if i didn't already have two bruce waynes hidden somewhere in the house i'd be a little bit happier about that i'm also a little bit like put off by the fact that like the top of his cape is molded in plastic for like the shoulder guards but then it becomes cloth like i want to just do the whole thing in plastic also if you look on the bag his cape looks a lot more substantial. I know it isn't. It's just the silver making it look like it kind of swoops around, but it looks it looks bigger. Uh, he's got to have cape envy of anyone with anything even slightly better. But now we'll see. If Imagine X plays us like it did last time, this is going to be another Batman. I'm hoping this is not the case. Let's see if I can open this one a little bit easier than the last one. Ah, perfect. If I was smart, I would have brought a knife with me, but um, it's all the way on the other side of the room over there, and uh, I don't want to get it. Same packaging as last time. Nothing interesting there. I actually wonder if the codes are the same. If I 
hadn't tucked the other packaging somewhere. There it is. Let's actually just take a look at this just to see. I don't know if you can see that. TLB, TLB. Okay, so let's see if they're the same, because then, you know, that kind of defeats the purpose of a blind bag if the code just means which one you get. Okay, come on. Come on. Oh, no, we've gotten the Joker. Ho, ho, ho. Now that is fortuitous, so it seems the codes don't mean anything. Good, because I know that sometimes uh, in past blind bags with a weird wrench thing, the code would somehow give away which one you're getting. Also, his hand is kind of on weird as well. Now that's nice. That's pretty cool indeed. Joker, one of my favorite Batman characters, which is a very popular opinion, which is also a bit weird. Right, come on, hold your weapon. Oh, there we go. Because uh, he really is an awful character. All he ever does is murder and pillage and destroy. Um, It's not a bad figure. Again, like the Imaginexes are pretty good. Uh, the paint's not as nice on this one. I don't know if you can see that the paint on his bow ties isn't particularly neat. It's kind of... Uh, not quite getting to the sides, and actually his flower is just going all over the edges there. Which is unfortunate, because the Batman one, well, I guess the Batman one just has a tampoed bat logo, so it doesn't require a lot of painting, and now I look at the shoulder, it's not fantastic. So the paint's not fantastic, but I mean, it's a great little toy for a kid. Like, I would have loved this when I was younger, I kind of love it now, even though I'm really not a kid anymore, I'm quite... <laughs> quite clearly an adult oh and something i didn't realize about their arms they're actually on uh hinges so they can go in and out as well that's kind of a cool thing they can t-pose now because that's all you need out of toys is a t-pose it's actually a pretty cool combination to get and uh technically i mean one of these was my brother's and one of these was mine so uh since my brother's a bigger Joker fan than me, that was probably his, and this was probably mine. But he gave it to me because he knows how much I love blind bags, and he's not a big fan of tchotchkes these days. But that's a nice pair to get. Those will actually go on the shelf for a little while before I inevitably get tired of them and huck them into the bin of no return. But until then, you know, you can go up on the shelf. Although, actually, a few things have stayed the test of time on my shelf. The star scream I got from that one blind bag is still up there. Not that you can see where I'm pointing, but it's still up on my shelf, as are the two little... um. Oh, I can't remember what those little things are called. The little Disney posable, like, bear things that you stack on top of each other. Gooshkies, Oosh, Oshkoshes. Ah, you know what I mean. I have a little Spider-Man and a Venom that I opened in a video that I don't think ever made it to the channel. If I can ever find where I've recorded it, I'll uh, try to stick it up. But for now, you'll just have to believe me when I say that it is, does exist. All right, let's get to this. Um, we will build this shouldn't take long. Let's see. Before we actually look inside, though, I'd really like the Boo or the Goomba. Although, yeah, any of the other ones is fine. Just no more fish, please. Oh, -ho! we're in luck. We got the Goomba. Nothing else in there. All right. That's pretty cool. And it comes with this little... Jeez. Oh, they've taped it together. That's, um, well... Why would you tape the instructions together? Ugh. It's actually kind of amazing how... Oh, yeah, see, that's just so much for keeping them pristine. It's amazing how small they can make these instructions. Like, this is teeny. Oh, reference, like, there's a 4x4 a four four flat piece. That's small. Of course, we've got the instructions. And let's just take a look at the whole line while we're here. We can see their names, for one. Of course, Bullet Bill, Peepa Paltrack. Oh, Paltrack is the other language. It's Peepa. Okay. Uh, Buzzy Beetle, Urchin Orsino, Spiny. No, just Urchin. <laughs> I need to stop reading the second language there. Fuzzy Blooper. Oh, there is a blooper. Okay. Uh, Eep Cheep. Oh, Cheeps. Right. That's what they're called, Cheeps. Uh, Bob Om. Or Babam, as I like to call them, and Paragumba. All right, so we've got Paragumba and the instructions. I do not believe that this will be too difficult. I'm just gonna put the instructions off to the left here, and I'll try to build it on camera for you. All right, so he's got a little, little foot piece, little boots. It's kind of neat. All right, so we've got one of these. I've been really enjoying Lego lately, and I actually quite like the fact that Lego got a uh, Mario license. I've I've been wanting to get the starter kit that comes with the electronic Mario toy, 
um, little Mario man which can kind of detect what terrain he's on with the Lego sets. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Um, a lot of the Mario stuff does look a little bit silly in Lego, which is, you know, kind of what you'd expect, but it's nice to see some new licenses in Lego. I haven't spent a lot of money on Lego in the past couple of years until just recently, like when the whole pandemic happened dating this video a little bit it's 2021 hopefully things will look better soon uh i spent quite a bit of money on lego in the early days of the pandemic and uh i'll just kind of move over here so you can just see i, I got the giant t-rex a friend of mine picked that up for me for my birthday i bought that stegosaurus there's the lego pikachu that i promised i'd do and did but never released the video and uh right there although you can't really see it very well is the nintendo special edition set which actually turns into a, it's a Nintendo Entertainment System with the Mario Kart as well as a TV. And if you spin the TV knob, the Mario diorama goes by. It's actually quite neat. Uh, but it better be, considering I think I spent $350 on it after taxes, Canadian. Cheaper everywhere else in the world, but you know, Canada. All right, so th there's not much to the actual uh, Goomba here. It seems like... He goes together real fast. And I do find it kind of strange that there's like a a barcode thing. Oh, that's definitely for the electronic Mario game and the app. Right, 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 right. Because you can scan the things and it does different things depending on what you've made. I had forgotten. Alright, sorry if I don't have a, a constant stream of consciousness while I'm looking for pieces. <laughs> I can sometimes... I have a hard time with that. All right, here we go. All right, so there's the Goomba himself. Uh, it's pretty great. I mean, it is a little bit limited by the shape of the Lego pieces, of course. So, I mean, it's not perfect, but I actually think it's pretty cool. I do like the, the face they've got on here. It's quite well... Uh, I guess it's stenciled, tampoed, whatever it is. It's, it's quite nice. It's a really cool face. Even on the fish one, which I hated, the... Uh, the likeness is unmistakable, so that's pretty cool. Um, now we can build his base. You know, I've never been a big fan, and I think I've said this many times whenever I've built LEGO, is that I don't really like all of this extra stuff they put in just to up the piece count. You know, it's like a couple of extra pieces, a diorama for the background. Like uh, one of the dinosaurs that I got for Christmas, actually, my sister also got me a smaller set, which I just got right here, just bring them in. Ah, ah, ah. Nom, nom, nom. Oh. Sorry, I've nudged my fan here. Uh, this smaller set, this dinosaur set, it came with a bunch of extra pieces, which are actually on my table off to the right there, that just make like a little dinosaur bone rib cage that's supposed to be on the side. It's just extra pieces that aren't really used for anything, and it just feels like kind of a waste to me. It's like, woo, I get to make a little tiny piece of terrain. Woo, that really ups the value and makes it worthwhile to spend so much money on Lego. Ah, it really doesn't. Uh, in this case, I mean, I guess it's kind of okay, because you are paying quite a bit for these little blind bags, so you kind of want to do up the price point a little bit. There he is, all in his uh, finished glory standing on top of his cloud here because I think these blind bags I bought one for myself um I was out shopping and I was kind of bored so like I said I picked and I've nudged it again sorry about that uh so I picked up one myself while I was shopping and I think I paid about five dollars for it now I mean it is of course main brand lego which means that you have to pay the weight of gold for each single piece that you get but still that's quite a lot and i mean at the base of it it's really probably not a hundred percent worth it although i do love lego and i would encourage everyone to buy lego man it is it expensive and i have to say that it is a little bit uh restrictive sometimes like i mean i bought this i'm just gonna push him into the shot here oh he's falling apart a little bit I bought this Stegosaurus, which is a little bit too big to be in frame right now, but this uh, Lego Stegosaurus here, I picked him up from uh, a warehouse closeout thing. It's one of those places where they sell a bunch of, like, rip-off stuff. And you can see that when I'm playing with it, the pieces do come off. So it's obviously not quite as good as main brand Lego, but, like, I mean, I think the Stegosaurus was, like, $12, and it's, like, 300 pieces. And, I mean, the pieces are nearly equivalent to Lego. Obviously, they're not 
as good. But considering that this set here, where a Lego set would cost about 60 bucks, uh, based on piece count, and I got it for like 12, definitely was worth the pickup. Because like this dinosaur here that my sister picked up for me, this guy here, even though he's a, a Lego, like an actual Lego dinosaur, so the quality is obviously far superior. This thing here was, I think, $30. So this was already twice the price of that, and there are less pieces. So, yeah, you do have to pay a little, little bit of a premium for your Legos these days. And uh, with the amount of supply and demand going on, the availability gets a little bit lower and lower all the time. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm really happy that they got these for me for my uh, my Christmas stocking. I, I love this kind of stuff. My level of blind bags has remained unchanged. Uh, I will try to uh, pick up a few more and maybe do a couple more videos in the future just to uh, keep myself entertained and hopefully entertain one or two of you out there as well. Uh, so, you know, in conclusion, I really do like the Imaginex guys. I think they're really neat. Uh... Hopefully your paint's a little bit nicer on the ones you get, but even with that, like if you're picking this up for like $3, I mean, it's a really cool little toy. I would have been super happy with something like this for three bucks when I was younger. I would have had endless fun with it, endless dioramas, and as long as you don't have the kind of luck I had on my first one, you should get some different characters, and oh dear, Batman's falling down. There we go. And you can get lucky, maybe, and have Batman and the Joker so that they can face off in their epic battle for justice. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Justice always wins and then goes off to brood in silence. <laughs> All right, well, that'll do it for this video. Uh, hope everybody's having a good, uh, safe time out there. Just remember to keep in contact with your loved ones and, you know, stay safe. All right, this is Disappointed Dragon signing out.